Welcome back guys to another video. So let's talk about a cheap undervalued stock in my opinion that I feel like people should really buy. The results and earnings came in that really made the stock go up. But of course, even with this giant growth, you got other people, for example, Kramer, you got all sorts of other news agencies saying how Target is a major buy. I looked into it and I gotta admit, Target is a phenomenal company and they're really changing and here's why. So, so far, look at the overall chart. I mean, Target's up like 11% in the past week. I mean, it's doing pretty well. I mean, jumped from 137 all the way to 152. And guess what? It didn't dump at all. It stabilized at $150 because it's such a good company. If you check out their overall earnings, no one saw it coming. People knew that Target most likely will make money since the economy is slowly recovering. But it's a dollar and sixty-two cents per share as the estimated. The actual earnings was three dollars and thirty-eight cents per share. That's like almost triple the estimate. Absolutely crazy. I, I gotta admit, the management of Target is pretty incredible. Like it's up so much like money, and this is like very historic for Target earnings. Like, look at this. This is a huge jump. You don't see this often, and the stock price really does reflect it. And it's not because they made a lot of money. Like, yes, earnings are pretty good, so the stock jumped up, but it was way more than that. It was Target going to the e-commerce business more than anything else. So I'm not going to lie. Target stores are pretty clean. They're pretty nice. And a lot of college students love Target. In fact, one of my roommates does work at Target. He says, like, the stores are honestly pretty well managed. It's pretty awesome. The prices are pretty good. And also, there's a lot of different shoppers. And it's getting pretty busy these few weeks. And so far, Target, if you look at their site, you can clearly see that they're really pushing their e-commerce and their delivery and also their apps to the consumer. And it's pretty insane. You can also see that they got same-day delivery, which is incredible. Pretty much, if you order from Target, they will actually get someone and deliver these fresh produce and also shirts or furniture, even small decor and items to your front door. Or if you don't want to do this, you could also just drive up, order it from the app, and the Target employees will bring it out to you. This is literally like Walmart Plus, except Target came out with it much sooner. Like if you're telling me I could get same day delivery, that sounds pretty awesome. And so far, it just seems much better and better, and people really are shopping on Target more and more. This is why the stock is going up, and honestly, the stock has never really performed well historically. Only recently has the stock been going up, and this literally went vertical up. The market cap is $76 billion. I feel like it could be even more, especially how they're really trying to penetrate to the e-commerce and online business. You got Amazon worth like $1.6 trillion, Shopify being worth $126 billion, Etsy, you got all sorts of other major e-commerce stores, the Walmart being worth so much money as well. So Target, I feel like it's a little bit undervalued and they could just do more e-commerce stuff and continue their growth. Guess what? The stock could easily be $200 a share. And I really do believe that this is a really great company. I'm honestly considering myself maybe getting a few shares of Target because of the insane growth for the e-commerce. Let me give you guys some numbers. So, so far, you clearly see the sales rose 24.3%. It's literally the best ever for the company. And this is historic once again. Now, what's even better is the digital sales rate, you know, rose 195% year over year. This is insane. Revenues are good. Okay. I mean, that sounds pretty fine. But the digital sales rising up, this is a major thing. Now, keep in mind that you do have a lot of brick and mortar stores literally closing Bed Bath & Beyond. They're not doing so well. Office Depot, not doing so well. You know, Torzo Us, they literally went bankrupt. You know why? Because they don't put a huge emphasis on e-commerce. But with these stats of digital sales raising up 195%, this is great news for Target because if Target literally didn't say anything about digital sales, I don't really think that the stock will be performing so well. But because they showed off that people really do use their digital services, they really trying to push e-commerce to the consumers. They want consumers to order things online. They have several different stores around the country to satisfy different consumers. They got, you could drive your car in, the employees will bring your goods out. You could literally just download stuff and also get stuff from the Target app. You could just wait for the notification. You drive up, tell them where your car is, they'll bring the goods out and that's it. Or if you want to deliver to your home, they got that as well, same day delivery which is pretty awesome. You can also go in the store and pick it up if you want to. So it's super simple and it's super easy. 
And since so many users are using digital sales, this is a major relief for target investors. And guess what? Even more people are buying in. And brick and mortar stores, they kind of suck. Let's be honest here. E-commerce is really the future. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been to a mall for literally a year and a half. I've been ordering all my shoes, all of my shirts from online. That just tells you something. And even now, I have some friends, they don't even want to go to an actual grocery store anymore. And a lot of people don't even go to actual restaurants. They just door dash their food. They use like, I don't know, Instacart. They pretty much use other services to get groceries to the household. Like we're getting kind of lazy, I'm not gonna lie. And in major cities, these services are becoming more and more important and more and more appealing. And this is why like you got Uber, Lyft, and also Instacart. You got a lot of these like e-commerce stores or these pickups and stuff like that. Being more and more expensive, these valuations for these companies are absolutely skyrocketing. And also if you check out Target's employees and also their locations, they have a really, really big army pretty much. A lot of locations, a lot of employees, and their management team is really good. Like Target is a pretty decently high-end store. Like when I shop at Target, I get a pretty good vibe from it. I really like it. It's a really clean store, phenomenal employees, good management, and they really do seem to care about their locations. 11,000 locations, most of them in the US, but they also have them in 27 different countries, including Canada, Chile, you know, etc. all that kind of good stuff. And just the digital downloads, and the digital stuff and also the Target app, it's making the company becoming more and more appealing for consumers because Target, it never really had a major e-commerce online presence a few years back. This is why the stock is always just stagnating. In fact, around 2017, 2018, I honestly thought Target stock was an absolute joke. It really didn't perform well, even all the way to like mid 2019, it never really did as well as people expected. But recently it's been climbing up because you know the stocks, the stock market generally is doing pretty well. They're slowly going to e-commerce. It did drop a lot, but eventually it surged up even higher, especially recently. You can clearly see this one month chart. It went from 122, now it's 153 because of the e-commerce presence. People knew that Target had a pretty big e-commerce presence, but they didn't know it would be this big. If you check this out, you can clearly see Target adds 10 million digital customers in six months. Absolutely insane. You got the e-commerce sales jumping like 200% amazing it's delivery curbside pickup and also pickup items in store and target their goods are honestly very fresh and i gotta admit they're somewhat superior to some other locations out there and also they did make a billion dollars in sales from good and gather which is kind of like their own brand of like fresh produce honestly i love their eggs I, they got orange juice they got like nuts and stuff like that it's pretty good and so far, Target is doing a phenomenal job. Like, because they have such good digital sales, and because their digital sales in their e-commerce world is literally better than Walmart, Walmart is still trying to roll out Walmart Plus. I'm not gonna lie, Walmart's a good company, but if they're still kind of struggling to roll out Walmart Plus and trying to improve and take their e-commerce to a next level, I mean, might as well buy Target. I mean, Target is like $76 billion. They're literally doing extremely well. They're even trying to go to other countries out there. Can you imagine Target going to the Chinese market? That would be pretty profitable as well. And so far, Target getting so many brand new digital downloads, they're literally stealing people that are potential Walmart Plus customers. And guess what? Target is making a ton of cash. They're getting some pretty good revenue and earnings were just absolutely fantastic from all these e-commerce different sales. You can clearly see in quarter two, once again, no other major retail store is doing as well as Target. You got, you know, Walmart not even doing so well. Costco, it's doing okay. But this is like the first ever like major earnings jump. Like not even all of Wall Street expected this. It's a really incredible company. There was a huge run up for Target stock and it still went up even further for the earnings. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Would you guys buy this stock? I honestly feel like it's a pretty decent company. It's only $76 billion. I get it, It's the valuation is a little bit big, but I feel like it could be 100 billion, 120 billion because of the e-commerce sales. That's about it.